Yo, what's up guys? I hope you're doing good out there. Now you might be wondering why I got this big smile on my face. And to be frank, it's because the channel is doing a lot better than I expected it to. I mean, I was confident that the channel was gonna do good and it was gonna be beneficial for me financially, but honestly, I didn't know how long it was gonna take until I was gonna be able to make a full-time income from this and not have to rely on anything else. And thank God, it's able to do that now, which feels pretty awesome. And as a way to show my appreciation for all your support, I'm gonna be sharing five tips that are gonna seriously help out any aspiring creatives that wanna reach financial freedom, artistic freedom, and location freedom, i.e. escaping the rat race. So my first tip is that you never throw away your notes. Now, I don't care what type of creative work you're involved in, if you're a carpenter, if you're a photographer, videographer, whatever. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or expert. There's always gonna be new things popping up and there's always gonna be new things to learn. Now, most people, when they take notes on something new that they're trying to learn, they're doing it because it's gonna help them learn faster. And while that's most definitely true, there's two other very important uses for your notes that most people overlook. Let me explain. So about three years ago, when I first really started to get serious about content creation and videography, photography, and other creative endeavors, I was really soaking up a whole bunch of information. And after that, I jumped right in and started making videos. Now, initially, the first three or four didn't do that well, but like the fifth or sixth video actually started to get some traction. And currently, that video has around 150,000 views. Now, fast forward about a year, year and a half later, I have multiple videos with over 50,000 views, a few with over 100,000 views, and I even have a few videos that are currently at about 350,000 views, which is relatively high for my niche. Now, you would think after experiencing that, that it would be a big boost of confidence for me and that it'd be easier to make videos going forward. And no doubt, it does have that effect, but the thing is that there's ups and downs. While sometimes it's a boost of confidence, at other times, you're thinking to yourself, man, that was such a good video. It's gonna be real difficult to ever make a video like that again. And you start doubting yourself and it starts to become a source of pressure for you. So when I start to overcomplicate things like that, what I do is I just go back to my original notes that I started taking three years ago. I go back to the notes I took on content creation, videography, storytelling, public speaking, all those things, right? And I just quickly reread those notes and review everything and realize that it was those simple concepts that got me to where I am today. If I just focus on those core principles, then I should be able to make videos as good as my previous ones and even better. So basically what I'm doing is using those old notes to ground myself when uncertainty and other negative thoughts try to creep in. It also helps me realize how far I've come, which is very important because you have to be grateful for your achievements. And that right there is more than enough reason for you not to throw away your notes. But there's also another reason, and that's going to help you make money with your notes. But I'm going to tell you about that a little bit further into the video. But first, Let's talk about tip number two, which is that you got to start before you're ready. You're never going to get to the point where you feel like, all right, now I know everything. Now I'm totally ready and now I'm ready to start. It doesn't work that way. Don't fall into the trap of watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial and not taking any action. Remember, you have to watch a little bit, take some notes, and then go out there and practice. You're never gonna become an expert until you try and fail and try again and keep putting in the reps until you get results that you're pleased with. Also, make sure you don't fall into the mindset where you're telling yourself that you need a new camera or you need this or that piece of gear before you can start. Just start with what you have and start before you're ready. And that brings us to our third tip, which is give away all your secrets. Now, before I explain exactly what that means, you have to keep in mind that as a creative, there's mainly two ways to make money. Either you're doing client work where you're hired by other people, or you're creating content for your own personal brand or company. And both can be extremely lucrative and complement each other. That's why I recommend you start creating content before you ever get your first client. And once your content gets to a certain level, clients will start reaching out to you instead of you having to go to them. And that's why you wanna give away all your secrets because you wanna provide free value. This is gonna do two things for you. It's gonna help the knowledge and the skills that you've acquired so far really sink in. And the second thing is that it's gonna help to build an audience, which is very important because this is how we're gonna monetize our content. And remember when I told you earlier that there's a second reason you don't want to throw away your notes well this is it when you go back and look at all the notes that you took and learning all the skills that you needed those are going to serve as content outlines and ideas because basically what you have in your hands is a roadmap of how you got from point a 
to be, which is going to be very valuable for people that are in an earlier stage of the journey than you are. So go back in your notes and find all the gems and all the important information that you've internalized and create content with that. And once you've gotten your feet wet and you've done that for a while, my next tip is that you work for free. Yeah, you heard me right. And I know it sounds counterintuitive, but let me explain. So as many of you may know, before I got into content creation, videography, and photography, I used to teach boxing and mixed martial arts. Now I've pretty much been involved with martial arts ever since I was a small kid. So when I moved from Texas to Malaysia, unfortunately, there was nowhere to train. So what I did, being that I love martial arts and self-defense and fitness and everything, I started a small class for free for myself and a few of my friends. Now at first, it was just three of us in a friend's office. So then we outgrew that office and we started training at a playground in my friend's condo. And soon enough, there was 10 of us or maybe even 15 and all the other residents in the condo started complaining because we were too loud. And while all this was taking place, a friend of mine that was training with us told me, you know what, let's go ahead and open a gym. He wanted to pay for everything and offered to give me 50% of the business in exchange for sweat equity. And I spent the next eight years doing what I love, which was teaching mixed martial arts, which I would never have had a chance to do if I wasn't willing to work for free in the beginning. Now in the creative space, this is called spec work. So let's say you want to pitch an idea to a company for a commercial or something like that. Instead of just pitching them the idea, just make the commercial. That way when you approach them, you could show it to them. And if they like it, they're going to hire you to do more. Not only that, but you could show the commercial to their competitors and get work that way as well. And in the case of my YouTube channel, it pretty much went the same way. I started making reviews about gear and software that I had purchased. And then when companies saw it, they started reaching out to me. And now my inbox is pretty much getting emails on a daily basis where companies are offering to give me free gear in exchange for reviews or to sponsor videos. And all of that is pretty much linked to those first few videos that I did for free. And that brings us to my fifth tip, which is a concept called show, don't tell. So let's say that I want to tell you about my filmic love pack and Lightroom profiles. Instead of sitting here and just telling you about how great they are and how awesome they're going to make your photos and footage look, I could show you instead, which is going to be much more effective. Take my teal and orange juice LUT for example. It's one of my favorite LUTs and it pretty much looks good on anything that I slap it on. And considering that my LUT pack and Lightroom profile pack is only 15 bucks, it makes it extremely attractive because you could easily go to my website, Fulan Creative com and purchase my LUT pack or Lightroom profile pack, which is going to give your footage and photos that extra pop. You see how I did that? That was an example of me showing you and not just telling you. Now I'm going to be straight up with you. Getting to this point as a creative entrepreneur where the money that's coming in is actually pretty good took a lot of hard work and took me about two years. And two years is that number where they say most businesses are going to fail or they're going to succeed right at the two year mark. And although most new businesses fail, I feel like I had a cheat code which gave me an unfair advantage. And if you want to know what that was and how it could help you get over those first two difficult years as a creative entrepreneur, then I highly suggest you watch this video next where I tell you all about it. If you got any value out of this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. If you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. It's Fulan Creative and I'm out. Peace.